Hello dear students. In this lecture, we will be discussing some basic terms of gene mutations. So what is mutation? The duplication of genes during semi-conservative replication is generally accurate. But sometimes it goes wrong and the genes are inherited in their mutated state or changed state. So such changes are called gene mutations or point mutations. The term mutation was coined by Hugo de Bryce as sudden, discontinuous and inheritable change. So what is mutation? As uh, defined by Hugo de Bryce, it is sudden heritable changes in the genetic material and Hugo de Vries gave this term mutation for sudden heritable changes in genetic material. Now mutations may be harmful, neutral or beneficial in nature. But majority of the mutations are harmful because most of the organisms are already adapted and any change would be disadvantageous. But sometimes mutations are also beneficial. So what we have learned that Mutations are generally not beneficial because the organism have already adapted and so these mutations turn out to be harmful. But sometimes mutations are also beneficial. Now what are the kinds of mutations we will study? So mutations are of two types, chromosomal mutations and gene mutations. So chromosomal mutations, they happen at cross level and they can be observed under microscope. So we have already learned these chromosomal mutations in the unit numerical and structural changes of chromosomes. And what is gene mutation? Gene mutation which happens at point level or at the basic level. Uh, so it is not visible under uh, microscope and that is why it is called point mutation because it happens at a very small level at the nucleotide level so these are the two kinds of mutations uh, which are chromosomal mutations and gene mutations or point mutations now mutations may occur at any stage in the life cycle of an organism it may occur in haploid as well as diploid organism and mutations are random and the frequency of mutation varies with character and organism. So, uh, this these are some basic uh, um, uh, basic terms which are um, related with mutation, and some basic facts which you should know about mutation that it can happen in hap haploid as well as diploid organism. When it happens in haploid organism, then uh, it is sometimes beneficial also because uh, the mutation can be utilized. Now, what are the kinds of mutation or the types of mutations? So, these are some of the terms which are uh, we will discuss in this lecture. So, what is somatic mutation? The first kind of uh, the first term is somatic mutation, as the name suggests. If the mutations occur in somatic cells which are also non-reproductive cells, they do not pass on to next generation and they are called somatic mutation. And what is gametic mutation? Gametic mutation, as the name suggests, it happens in reproductive cells and these are also called germline mutations. So germline mutation or gametic mutation happens in reproductive cells and they pass on to next generation. Then third term is spontaneous mutation. So naturally occurring mutations are called spontaneous mutation. Induced mutations, when mutations are produced by the action of a uh, of a agent, it is called induced mutation. And this agent is called mutagen. So mutations produced by the action of a physical mutagen or a chemical mutagen is called induced mutation. Forward mutations, when mutations results from a normal wild type to a new form, then it is called forward mutation and reverse mutation or back mutation is when mutants revert back to wild forms or normal forms. Then 
there are uh, this there is another term which is called base substitution so this is also called substitution mutation and substitution mutations are also called point mutations these are of two kinds transition and transversion so we know that dna has four kinds of bases uh, a g c and t and out of these two purine and uh, purines are adenine and guanine and pyrimidines are cytosine and thymine so in base substitution mutation a base is replaced by another base so uh, the transition event happens when a purine is replaced by a purine and a pyrimidine is replaced by a pyrimidine so transition happens transition mutation we will discuss we have just discussed that in transition mutation a purine is replaced by another purine uh, say a is replaced by g or g is replaced by a and then pyrimidine is replaced by pyrimidine so say c is replaced by t and t is replaced by uh, um, c now in transversion a purine is replaced by pyrimidine and vice versa so for example a purine is replaced by pyrimidine a is replaced by t or t is replaced by a so this is an example of transversion then the other kind of mutation is your frame shift mutation which is different from point mutation because here the whole framework changes the whole reading frame changes and frame shift mutation happens because of a deletion of a base or the insertion of a base so this is another classification of mutation where we have just learned that because of point mutation only one base will will be replaced in terms of transition or transversion and so it will result in the uh, mutated state of a single amino acid but in frame shift mutation the whole framework will change and it happens because of insertion or deletion of a base so we have just discussed that what are spontaneous mutations spontaneous mutations are naturally occurring mutations we will uh, discuss now what is the molecular mechanism behind spontaneous mutation it can happen because of three mechanisms replication error uh, which happens because of tautomeric states of bases deamination and depurination so what is replication error uh, watson and crick suggested that a possible mechanism of spontaneous mutation which is naturally occurring mutation is that mutation occurs when the dna is replicating and not during unreplicated state the presence of tautomers in the same system where the dna is replicating can cause abnormal base pairing and because the rate of spontaneous tautomeric shifts is low the mutation frequency is also low these are the basic uh, standard and tautomeric forms of bases so uh, we will just discuss what are the uh, what is the uh, standard uh, form of thymine it is keto thymine can exist in both keto and enol form so enol form of thymine is tautomeric form while standard form of keto is thi uh, of thymine is keto similarly guanine can exist in keto and enol form and guanine uh, is present when it is present in keto condition it is a standard form while in enol it is a tautomeric uh, state cytosine can exist in amino as well as amino amino state and amino state of cytosine is standard amino is your tautomeric form similarly adenine can exist in amino and amino form the standard form of adenine adenine is amino and the amino form is tautomeric form so watson and crick recognized that purines and pyrimidines can exist in these tautomeric forms and tautomers are the nitrogenous base that can exist in alternate chemical forms called structural isomer and each differs by only a single protein shift in biologic in a molecule so what are the biologically active tautomers we have just discussed that keto in all form of thymine and guanine you can see here from these four bases 
that keto in all form of thiamine and guanine and amino amino form of cytosine and adenine so thiamine and guanine uh, the standard form of thiamine and guanine is keto and the standard form of cytosine and amine, um, adenine is amino now tautomeric shifts can result in base pair changes or mutations due to changes in bonding structure of rep of 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 molecule so we will discuss this in so uh, in we have the just next discussed example. this i am repeating again that keto in all form of thiamine and guanine uh, and uh, this amino amino form of cytosine and adenine this these are the they can exist in both states so uh, keto of keto form in all form of thiamine guanine keto form in all form cytosine amino form Im amino form and adenine amino and amino so these are the structures represented and i have taken this picture from clug and cummings the most stable tautomer of nitrogenous base result in the standard pairings that serve the basis of double helix model of dna so again you can see here that when thymine is in keto form then it pairs by double bonds with adenine in the amino form and similarly the guanine in its keto form it when it is present in the keto form it bonds with cytosine by three double bonds so this is standard base pairing but what is abnormal base pairing or uh, here you can see when the cytosine is in amino form uh, then it bear with um, it bonds with adenine in the amino form so adenine although adenine is present uh, in its basic uh, state but the cytosine is not present in the standard form the amine the amino form of cytosine will pair with adenine similarly the the guanine when it is present in keto form then it pairs with thymine in the enol form so thymine the basic condition the standard condition of thymine is keto but when the thymine is in 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 all state in all tetrameric state then it will not bond with adenine but it will bond with guanine so you can refer the clug, book Clug and Cummings for this structures again from Clug and Cummings. So I have written here that what is the tautomer form of thiamine? This in all the thiamine is when it is present in keto form that is the standard form. But when the thiamine is present in tautomer it will not bond with adenine but it will bond with guanine. Similarly here you can see that when the tautomer my condition of cytosine is present it will not bond with guanine but instead it will bond with adenine although the adenine is normal present in the normal state but because the because of the amino state of cytosine it will bond with adenine so here you can see uh, an example where a transition mutation has taken place because of the tautomeric shift from amino form of adenine to amino form and so this is an example of transition mutation where you can see here that in this uh, when the dna is replicating then the amino form of adenine is present it has bonded normally with the thiamine but when it it, it replicates it changes to the um, tautomeric form amino from amino to amino and now because the, uh, the the state is amino so it it will bond with cytosine instead of thiamine and this is called anomalous pairing and so in the next round of replication you can see that when this dna replicates the c will bond with uh, g and so the transition mutation happens ta is replaced by cg and here the, this dna will be normal so we will be discussing more this these examples in the next uh, video lectures of the mutation series thank you and you can refer books uh, to uh, make your concepts uh, clear thank you students